What is going on boys and girls, it's Juliano back here with another video and another episode of Team of Two Halves. Obviously the team of the week is getting, well it's getting better to be honest because obviously football's back on, players are playing well, scoring goals, everything like that. Um, so there's some good players out, you know, one in particular, we'll have a video on him, hint hint, Man United player, Marcus Rashford obviously, he will have himself a video at some point but I obviously had, um, I got drawn to one specific player and he's obviously in the thumbnail it is that inform 84 say do dubia back at sporting lisbon um so gone for a team of two halves because there's another player johnny evans that i thought looks pretty awesome he's broken a 70 pace barrier so i was definitely going to be building a cheeky squad around those two and it took me ages to actually come up with a decent looking squad and this squad is, is decent looking it's four two three one so formation that not many people use but i definitely enjoy using it and in goal we go for the 88 rated hugo loris from spurs 87 diving 90 reflexes 87 handling and 82 positioning he's six foot two and he's only forty two thousand coins now which is so so cheap i love it um because well this is the this is the time of year to buy these cheap players left back we go for jordi alba at 93 pace 75 uh, passing 83 dribbling 81 defending and 75 physical he is a pace demon and he is again very cheap at fifteen thousand coins right back we go for an informed silver from the premier league it is joe gomez the young liverpool upstart um hasn't had much of a chance playing for um for for liverpool at the minute but he did feature in the route of Arsenal at 4-0 um, and he did get himself a cheeky inform along with Mohamed Salah. 81 pace, 70 dribbling, 73 defending and 74 physical, 6 foot 1 as well so he is lanky as anything for a, uh, for a, uh, a right back which is lovely to see. First centre back we go for is the 82 rated bog standard Samuel Umtiti, 75 pace, 82 defending, 78 physical, he's only 5 foot 11, he's got high high work rates but he's got the pace which is what I want. And obviously the first player of Team of Two Halves and obviously the first, uh, the final defender of the team, it is Mr. Johnny Evans, former Man, Man United, current West Brom, could have been Man City for 30 million, but they managed to just keep a hold of him, which is a good thing because he is a fantastic defender for a team like West Brom. He's only 29, so he's not even past his peak yet. 70 pace, 83 defending and 76 physical, six foot two as well, low medium work rates. He's got all the stats to be a beastly card and he's only 18K on the on the day of he was released. He's 18K. I'm recording this obviously on a Wednesday. Couple up for 17, but he's gonna be discarded at some point, but you know, I managed to just nip in there and get him um, for a uh, for a decent price, to be honest. First CDM, it is another former Man United player, it is Darren Fletcher. I needed him for chemistry, um, but to be honest, for a an experienced player on the pitch, he does not look bad. His pace is abysmal. His dribbling isn't too bad at 68. His shots not bad at 68. He's got 81 defending, 74 hard passing, 74 physical, six foot tall, medium hard work rates. He's a brilliant CDM. He's cost 1800 coins because obviously he's a Stoke now. Um, so he his non-transfer card is a little bit more expensive. But to be honest, he, he's going to do a shift for me. Next CDM you saw him there it is the Silver Water from uh, OGC Nice. Uh, looks like a fantastic looking card. 71 pace, 74 dribbling, 68 defending, 75 passing, 70 physical, 5 foot 9, medium, medium work rates. You know, they've got, between them, they've got the, the stats to be beastly. They've got the good defending in Fletcher, you've got the good pace um, in Water, and you've got the good passing between the two of them. So it is a... Another lovely CDM pairing to have. Obviously, you can go for another CDM, but I wanted to go for a silver because you know me. I like my silvers. First cam is the team of the season. Jean-Michel Serri, or Serri is however you pronounce, pronounce it. Obviously, was heavily linked with Barcelona so they turned around and just went, nah, you're all right. I don't really fancy buying you. Um, so he's still playing for OGC Needs at this present moment. And he's got a Hullet gang member. Team of the season card, 88 rated overall, 84 pace and 90 dribbling, 87 shooting, 82 defending, 89 passing and 86 physical. He's lowest at a CDM and he's more known to be defensive in this game, which is madness. He's five foot six, so he's not tall. He's got high medium work rate, a four star weak foot and only two star skills. 55k, which is a um, pretty cheap. Price tag for someone that's 80 or 80. What is he looking like? Is he still that sort of? Yeah, he's still that sort of price range. So he's, he is not bad for the price. First cam is we want to go on to this side on the left because he's the first one that's going to come up. Uh, I'll look over there. There we go. It is um, Torre, not Yaya. It is Thomas Torre. 82 pace, 75 dribbling, 69 shot, and 72 passing. Four star skill moves, high medium work rate, 600 coins, bog standard, 
and decent. And he gets everyone on full chemistry. And the final midfielder, or final attacking midfielder, is a little bit of a, a wonder kid quotation marks. Because he was tabbed to be amazing at Celtic. He went to Sporting and he flopped a little bit. It is Ryan Gould, formerly with the five-star skill. He's only got four now. 85 pace, 78 dribbling. 70 passing and 62 shootings, 5 foot 6 as well, so not a tall midfield, and he's 2k, so he's not too bad. He did spend um, last or this the last season just gone out on loan at, let me have a look, uh, this team here, Visa Tumbal. He was over there on loan, so I think it was a wrong move for him to, to go. It was like um, Oliver Burke, who left Nottingham Forest, went to I'll be so I'll be Leipzig, I think, and barely got played. Let's move back to England. So I think I think he he might need to come back to England and uh, settle down and come back to the level of football he's probably used to playing. Uh, and final member of the team is Seydou Dumbi, at eighty four rated in form for Sporting Lisbon, ninety three pace, eighty five dribbling, eighty six shooting, seventy two passing, seventy eight physical, five foot ten, four star skill, his three star weak foot, thirty nine and a half k. So he's he's not cheap off the bat. Oh, there he is. Trust me to go and buy it, and then someone pops him up for 24.5k. Brilliant. Shock horror, I've done that. I've gone and wasted my money. But he actually, I thought his foot birthday card was lower rated, but it's not. It's the same rating, but stats are different, which is, I don't know why EA do this. The stats are different, but it's the same rated card. He's got himself, oh, what have I done? There you go, as well. Oh. That's what I wanted to say. There we go. And it's, I don't get it. This card he's got now is one pace less than his um, for birthday. One better shooting, one less passing, one better dribbling, one less defending, one better physical. I really don't understand it, but he looks insane. This is a team that looks really, really nice. I think it looks really sick. I'm going to get into a couple of games in divisions and see how well we do against the opponents we come up against. Let's go get the first opponent, shall we? Right, opponent number one rocks up with a bog standard. BPL team, uh, 451, which is not the best formation. He's got himself Joe Hart in net, obviously non transferred. Walker Cahill, Smalling, Baines, Torre, Sterling, a Di Maria off chem, Mata, Silva, Lukaku. So very dangerous front three, all left footers. Pacey Wingers, obviously the five star skiller, um, who has had a huge downgrade into uh, FIFA 1884, I think he is. He's dropped three. Yeah, he's had a pretty decent season. A bit weird. Let's get into the game. Let's come out with a win, like we always do. Well, like we always say we're going to do. Two minutes in, corner already from the attempt by, um, what's his name? Dubia. We'll go with Gould. He's not got a bet. Oh, no, I don't want that. I want another right foot. What am I doing? Got my, got my fingers. We'll go for Seri. His stats are insane. We'll put this in. Who's that? Darren Fletcher? No, it's Joe Hart. Unfortunately. Oh, Walter doing a bit of work. Dumbia. How is he not scored there? Harder to miss, I think. Oh, Seri. Oh, Dumbia did the wrong thing. I tried to turn onto a strong foot and messed up. Oh, Seri through to Thomas Torre with a delightful little finish into the bottom corner. 35 minutes play. We are deservingly in the lead. We've completely controlled this game. A nice pass by the little pocket rocket, Seri. And a great finish by Torre. 1-0. Oh, and he's left. Didn't even expect it. I was, drink I was taking a swig of drink. Oh, wow. He's left. That was an easy win. Let's get the second opponent. Right, opponent number two brings us a significantly better team. He's got Butland, Walker, Smalling, David Luiz, um, Marcus Alonso, and uh, non transfer Matic, informed Deli Alley, which is his base car rating for next year with four star scores, which is nice. A team of the season, Bakayoko, team of the season, Lamar, 90 rated striker son, and Martial on seven campaign right forward. So that is a significantly better team. We're going to be in a bit of trouble here. Let's hopefully come out with a win. Lamar pushes me off. Great save by Lorraine. He pauses it. I feel like a rebound goal is coming. I'm just going to have to wait for it. Oh, no. Easy. Easy save by Lorraine. Easy save by Lorraine. Oh, Jean-Michel Seri. That was unlucky. 
good attempt for the corner. We'll change that. Uh, sorry, good attempt for the free kick, even, I should say. Change the corner to Ryan Gould. Put some power behind it. Johnny Evans had the header. Unfortunately, went nowhere. West Brom players are known for scoring headers. Unfortunately, that one was not a goal. Oh, Torre does both defenders. Puts through Dumbia, who is tripped by Marcus Alonso. If he'd gone down, that probably would have been a penalty. Oh, Bakayoko has pushed through. He's glided and he's put the ball past Lurie. And we're 1-0 down with 19 minutes gone. Um, I don't know. I feel a little bit hard done by that. But I'm always going to be hard done by when I'm not winning. Let's crack on and just uh, come up with a win. We need it. Oh, Walters has put through Dumbia and Marcus Alonso is a mother trucker. Oh, Seri's put Dumbia through with a beautiful turn and he's hit the post. What is going on here? And we just can't put the ball in the back of the net and the keeper's gone down and it's, it's a free kick to him. Oh, Thomas Torre blocks that pass and Seydou Dumbia puts us back on level terms at 1-0. Easily capitalising on that defensive mistake. He just was too, too casual about it and we've capitalised 1-0. Uh-oh, Johnny Evans, that's not what you meant to do. He's brought down Sun on the edge of the box. Lamar with the power, hits the wall. Lurie saves out for a corner. Brilliant reflexes by Hugo, to be honest, to, to you know catch that ball in time. Corners away. Johnny Evans has given the ball away again. David Luiz has pushed through and he's gone and made it 2-1. David Luiz on his weak foot. I'm hard done by again. I'm only hard done by because it was a defender scoring with his weak foot. And a, a pretty delicious finish, to be honest. That was a very nice goal. Back down to losing. Oh, Lamar's wriggled through. And is that Johnny? Oh, it's Jordi Alba. I was about to say, is it Johnny Evans at the last? But it's not. It's Jordi Alba coming over to help out. And that's half time. I was expecting that. 2 1 down. At the break, uh, it's been very ends at ends. A lot of defensive mistakes, a lot of defending, good, good passing and stuff like that. It's been pretty exciting. It's been one of those games where I try to commentate and I can't. I just get sucked into playing it. I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing, etc., etc., etc. That sort of thing. And once he skips, we can see the halftime stats. And there they are. We've had four shots, two on target, it's had six and four. Pretty decent possession to us, um, a little bit higher. And our passing, 87, that's decent. That is a very good passing to have, especially in a game like this. 2-1 down. Let's come out with a win. Oh, Lamar is in so much space. Punished, absolutely punished. I tried to pass the ball through the defence. Got caught, counter-attack. Lamar's punished us and we're 3-1 down. Not good at all. Oh, Dumbi is beaten. Ah, oh, the keeper just stood so tall with that, with that save. I, you know, in that situation, you have no choice, really. Chip it or lose it. Oh, Lamar tried to punish. Good defensive work by Joe Gomez and a brilliant save by Lurie. I'm going to try and counter. Ah, Walker. Ah, Walter with a lovely ball over to Dumbia. He's in space and Butland makes the big save. Still got the ball. And I don't think we're going to get anything here. Ah, oh, Joe Gomez's pass. That was dreadful. Son makes it 4-1. This guy is so good. He, he is such a hard defender to break down. He's very vicious and very... Uh, what's the word I'm after? Uh, 
Clinical, that's what I'm after. Very vicious clinical on the counter and on the attack. We've just been punished. We're 4 1 down, and to be honest, very, very deservingly, we've been punished. Oh, Joe Gomez, you saved us there from going 5 1 down. Good block. Look at that, 11 shots, and we've had 6. Mate, we've been dominated. Oh, Lamar dribbles. He's put 5 1. We've been absolutely dicked. He has dominated us. So deserving. Punished. Clinically punished. That guy was in. Saying at, at FIFA, he was ridiculous. I actually expected a formation change to go to a 4 1 2 1 2, but he didn't uh, change it. David is playing the match for that one goal. Um, normally, I would class him as the most irritating player on the pitch, but today, hands down, it was um, Alonso. He was so irritating to get past, I couldn't get past him. Obviously, Dumbi comes out with the goal, Torre with the assist. Johnny Evans had an 8.6, which is a fantastic return. I only thought about this now, obviously. You can't really look at defenders and how they do. They just make a couple of tackles. Johnny Evans, in the end of the game, had 92% passing, which is fantastic. A 12 completed and a 1 failed, which is pretty good. Ignore the tackling, you know, in a sense, because I'm not the best defender of the game. He had 54%, 6 one, 5 lost. Ball, do you know what? That ball retention, for me, is very, very impressive. The possession won 12 times and lost three times i normally lose more than i gain uh headers we lost 11 no i don't don't know how they did that as i said i've really quit in the first half lost in the second game oh, so, really quit in the first game lost in the second game let's get a third game a third game a third game let's get a third game can't even speak today right third opponent against ball of duty fc which i love oh that team's hard that's a massively hard team. De Gea, SBC, Bellerin, Inform, Reed, um, Smalling, uh, foot, foot Birthday, Cole, SBC, Can, and Dembele, Player of the Month. Um, I'm sorry, Foot Birthday. No, I'm confused now. I'm confused. You've seen the team. You saw the team. Yeah, the team of the season, Crew, Striker, Inform, um, Royce. I'm getting really confused now. Uh, and the highest rated Podolski Striker card. That is a disgusting team. Oh, I wish we'd uh, come up against a couple of easy opponents, but we'll have to get into the game and find out. Oh, Dumbia puts Thomas Torre through. Two and a half minutes in. We're one nil up. What the fuck? What a counter-attack. We, we just got the ball. We kept the ball. We passed it. Nice bit of passing. A one-two by Torre. I thought he was offside. Turns out he weren't. Weak foot. Past De Gea, three minutes, we're one nil up. Max Cruiser has beaten us, there is lag, and there is a save by Lurie, and then I'm assuming there's going to be a rebound, which the game is starting to really lag and it's irritating. And Podolski has got himself back in the game just a few minutes later. I think this guy is German, because he had the German away kit, the one that the guy had in the last game. He's got the Dortmund kit and he's got the Dortmund badge. So I think that he might be a German uh, German guy. So, But that's just me assuming. Back to level pegging. It's going to be a fun game. Oh, wow. Ryan Gould. Oh, I thought he just got himself a goal. That was unlucky. That was a great, another great bit of passing on the edge of the box by the team. We'll take the corner with the pocket rocket as he's tiny and incredible free kick stats. And that's cleared out for another corner. Change it over from Alba to Seri. Whips this in. Oh, it's cleared. Oh, Dumbia's pop. Oh, man. Dumbia's pass was blocked and it landed straight at, at Torre's feet. And it's just gone wide. Oh, wow, Darren Fletcher. He's pushed his way through. There's no... Oh, that was annoying. Oh, nice bit of passing. Oh, Seri is blocked by Ashley Cole. Oh, Max Cruz has dragged it back. He's tried to pass it in. And we've managed to just grab hold of the ball. He should have shot with uh, with Royce. And we've ended up in the back of the net. No, no, no hesitation whatsoever. 
Oh, Dumbia has skipped away. I tried to compose myself to shoot. Didn't have time. He slid me out with Smalling. So we've got a penalty, which is... Yeah, it's not too bad. Dangerous penalty. That was dirty. Obviously, we're going to take this with Dumbia. Oh, we've got the arrow as well. Nice. Oh, easy finish. Easy, easy finish. Dumbia has put us back in the lead. 35 minutes played. A very nice penalty to his right. The keeper, no, to the keeper's right, his left. Pretty nice penalty. 2-1. Oh, Dumbia, he's pushed to throw again. He's pushed for again. I chipped the keeper too late. I didn't think he was going to commit. And he basically just kicked the ball at the keeper's knees. Oh, Ryan Gould with a lovely bit of dribbling. Dumbia. Oh, that was dodgy. Shot saved and hits the floor. Bounced over for a corner. We're peeing this in with the little Scottish man. Oh, De Gea saves it. De Gea at corners is impossible to beat sometimes. All right, half time, 2-1. Surprisingly, we're beating this guy. He's got a sick team and we're playing better than him. We've had so many more shots, seven and five. He's had just two on target and two in total. We've had pretty even possession, pretty even passing. Let's just carry on this momentum, keep the win, and basically secure myself uh, Division 2 because I need a point in three games and I'd rather just do it now because I've barely played Divisions as it is, only for videos. Oh, Dumbia with a lovely touch. Through to Seri, who's going to dink the keeper. Lovely. 3-1. 53 minutes played. A lovely breakaway attack kind of goal. Gould up to Dumbia, who takes a lovely touch and a turn. Through to Seri, who just dinks the keeper very, very beautifully. And uh, extends our lead to 3-1. To I'm, I'm very happy with this. To play this guy, because his... He's got a good team, but his clearing and his defending isn't brilliant. So I'm trying to exploit it as much as I possibly can. Oh, good dribbling by Royce, but just a good defensive block interception by uh, Joe Gomez. And we're on the attack again. More counter-attack football. I'm loving it. Doesn't know what we're going. We're through. Oh, that was such a pathetic attempt. Should have just put your laces through it, didn't we? Oh, we're giving the ball away. Silly mistake. Jordi Alba's brought down Lucas Podolski and he's got him a penalty. That was a silly mistake by me to give to give him Titi the ball. I should have just cleared it for a throw in. He did go down very easily. But obviously it's it's a foul nonetheless. I think he's going to the left. Oh, he's gone down the middle and he's hit the bar and we've cleared it. Oh, we got away there. With this lag, it's so aiding us right now with Torre. He's got past Bellerin, he's got past Smalling. And, we, and we just, it just got to the point where it was so crowded we couldn't get the ball through into the into the middle of the box. I thought Darren Fletcher was about to get a, an attempt at goal, but we've got it through to Torre, who's been taken up by Bellerin. Another penalty. Are we going to go the same way? Obviously, we're going to go with Dumbia. So much lag, so much lag, and we penenkered it down the middle. So cheeky, so, so cheeky, but I'm not going to complain. That is another goal for Dumbia, and another easy penalty. A nice little chip down the middle puts us 4-1 in the lead, and surely home and drive with 14 minutes of the game left. Oh, Seri's put Gould through. Oh, Gould is just not very good on this game, to be honest. He's n he's not very good. The lag is getting worse, and there's a great save out of Lurie. We, uh, we've been pretty solid in this game. Oh, 
Oh, wow, what a goal. Who was that? Was that Cruiser? That was a fantastic turn and a fantastic finish. Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Great turn. Good hold off play and a fantastic top bins finish. What a card, man. That, that, I've always wanted to use that cruiser. And I never have. 90th minute. Is that the last thing that's going to happen in this game? Yeah, it is. It's the last thing that's going to happen in the game. We've ended it 4 2, which is a very nice result to have. Two wins and a loss. Dumia comes out with a man of the match with two goals and two assists. So that guy's a bit of a machine. He's a bit of a machine. We dominated, we played well, and we got the win, which is what we wanted. Right, well, boys, what a team. There was not a player in this team I was not disappointed with. I stand by the fact I chose Johnny Evans as a player feature in this episode. I stand by the fact I choose, I chose Darren Fletcher because he was insane. He played brilliantly. The remade says when he had to. Joe Gomez for a 8.5k 74 rated silver played really, really well. Jordi Alba, he didn't get much of the action to be honest because everyone was going down the opposite side. Because when you're looking at this team, you're going to go for the 86, 93 paced beast or you're going to go for that silver 81 rated uh, 81 pace or 74 you know everyone's going to go down that side and Titi was solid he he did what I needed him to do Johnny Evans was fantastic I forgot to see what he did in the end of that last game I completely forgot to do that but he was fantastic so solid definitely worth the money obviously he's a prem, premium form so he might get used a little bit more than a lot of other um Northern Irish centre backs. CDMs were solid. Uh, Waters, did he come out with anything? No. Did Fletcher come out with anything? No. They just played well, defended brilliantly, and helped out in the attack. Seri is fantastic. The little pocket rocket, he's brilliant. He's got such good stats. He got one goal, one assist. And that one goal he did get was a delicious little chip. Thomas Torre played really well. Two goals and one assist. He was fantastic. Ryan Gould came out with nothing. He was probably the dead one in the attack. He's probably the only person I wasn't overly uh, impressed with. But he did have the ball, and when he did have it, he did something decent. And Seydou Dumbia was fantastic. Three goals and two assists in three games. He was absolutely, absolutely sublime. Like always, every single FIFA, he always comes out and just plays brilliantly. He's such a fantastic card. Really, really enjoyed using him. And really enjoyed using this team. But as been the end of, end of the video, boys, I hope you have all enjoyed. As always, links down to Twitter and Instagram in the description below. Go down there, drop me a follow, drop a like on the video, and drop a sub if you're not around here. Till next time, guys. Have an amazing day, and I shall see you all later. Bye.